I'm Carrie from Penny Modern and today I'm here to give you a bunch of fresh ideas to decorate your kitchen countertops for spring. So first we'll cover making a focal point and then I'll go over using cutting boards and then we'll move on to doing cooking stuff and then sink stuff and then at the end we'll do greenery and floral and a full tour of my kitchen. So hopefully you will give me a thumbs up if you like this video and also don't forget to subscribe hit the red button down below and make it gray and that way you'll get more awesome content like this so let's get cooking it, winter is almost over and spring is almost here so I was feeling like my kitchen is a little bit drab and dreary and it needed some freshening up so the first step that I think we should do is um, put away some of the old decor items and kind of start with a clean slate. So I'm gonna clear off all my countertops and get rid of the all old decor. And then what we do is put all the old stuff and the new stuff together and see what are the items that we wanna use in our new decor theme. So see you in a second. Okay, so a lot of the things that I have for my new decor items are from Target. So I'm gonna flip this around and show you guys all the stuff I got along with some of the stuff I had. You know. Okay, so this is a lot of the decor that I'm gonna use. I wanted to show you guys. So some of this is my older stuff and some is newer. Um, some of the things that I got from Target were this wooden tray, which is really cute. This really inexpensive plant. These um, ceramics are from the Hearth and Hand line by Joanna Gaines. Got a really cute bunny rabbit. These really awesome fake limes that I'm gonna put in my bowl. Um, this guy is also from Target, it's just a soap pump. And then I got this chopping board. These are from H&M that I got online. These ceramics are all from Target, so they have really cute stuff, really cute ceramics, and that seems to be really in right now. Um, and so I'm gonna mix it up with some different plants. I'm probably gonna reuse this. This is my centerpiece right now, but I'll use this eucalyptus too. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you was to create a focal point. So if you have a large peninsula or a large island, or maybe you have an eat-in kitchen with a big kitchen table, you wanna create a little focal point with your decor. So one way you could do that is with a pitcher and some greenery or some flowers in it, or maybe a big bowl of fruit. And the other way you could do it is if you had a, one of those big cookie jars like you see on the Kardashians and fill it with cookies or fruit or something like that. So for me, I'm gonna do this as my focal point. This is a picture from the Hearth and Hand line at Target that I'm going to just put in some of this eucalyptus. I got this at Ross for like five bucks and kind of use this as my focal point right now on my peninsula, just because I wanted to show you guys, you know, how that might look. And then we actually use this quite a bit. So the this is where we kind of eat um, pretty much all our meals on a more casual level. And so I would just kind of put it over to the side when we eat and then in the middle when we're not eating. So here is my focal point. And so the second idea for a focal point is to use the bowl of fruit. And so I'll just show you that. Just dump these in. It's like, couldn't be any easier. These are from Target and they were only, I think, $9.99. So pretty good deal. And you get a lot of really realistic looking limes. And there you go. Then you have a beautiful bowl of fruit. Okay, another way to decorate your counters is to use cutting boards. So this one is actually from Target and it was a pretty good deal. It was, I think about $25. And then this one is from Ikea. I really love this one. I think it was only like 20 bucks. Um, and you can just lay them against your countertop. It's pretty easy. What I love about cutting boards is they add an element of warmth, which will make your kitchen feel more inviting, more cozy, more like your heart of your home. And if you have a white and gray kitchen or a white, all white kitchen, like I know a lot of people have these days, having wood cutting boards in just gives it an extra layer and an extra added element that just takes it over the edge to make it a really special place to be. So you can do just single cutting boards or you can layer them. So either way is really cool. Um, 
and then I'll see you over at the stove and we'll go over cooking items. So I wanted to show you a couple more ideas for using trays and cutting boards. So I just have this cutting board from Target and this um, little tray behind my stove to give that element of warmth. And then also I have a spoon rest and this cute little container from Target and a really nice plant, this little pottery planter, all on this nice wooden tray that's also from Target. And that way you're kind of organizing all your small things onto a tray so it looks really nice and neat and organized. So this will be a really cute way to decorate your place for spring. Okay, so next up is some ideas around cooking and things you use for cooking. So I'm not the cook in my family, my husband is, but I thought a great idea to kind of add some decor items would be to um, use this canister, which is from Target, and it's got a really pretty pattern on it, but it's gray and white, so it's super neutral. And I just put in our kind of our wooden utensils that he uses all the time. So this is both useful and decorative, which I love when anything's like that. And I put it on the left side of my sink, uh, or my stove, because on the right side I had a lot going on over here. So I wanted to put this over on the left, and that way everything looks nice and balanced. And we also have the cutting boards in the middle. And next up, we'll do stuff for your sink. Okay, so next up is decorative items around your sink. So I first wanted to get a new soap dispenser. So I thought this was really cute. It is from Target and I think it was like 12 or 13 bucks and it's clear glass. So it's actual glass and then it has this really nice chrome pump. So I fill that up with soap in a second. And then I got these fake flowers and this cute little vase. These are both from Hearth and Hand, also from Target. And I just thought it would give a really cute, fresh uh, spring-like element to my sink area. So I have try to balance things out and I'll have my soap here and my little flower arrangement there. And then I put my brush and my scrubber on a little wire um, suction cup thing to hide it inside my sink so my counters look so much more clean. And next up, we'll talk over greenery. Okay, so the final piece we'll cover is greenery. So I'm gonna take you through and show you all the different places that I added greenery to my kitchen and give you some ideas too. Okay, so I'm gonna take you on a little tour of all the different spring decor ideas as well as talk about the greenery. So the first element of greenery was the eucalyptus that I added in the vase to make a focal point. And then over here, I added the bowl of limes. And up there, you can see I have my little Easter bunny <laughs> that I got from Target. Um, that's a subtle way to add a little bit of fun, whimsical element to your spring decor. And then I have the little plant in the tiny little vase from Hearth and Hand, which I really love. And then over on the other side, here's the crock with the cooking utensils, the cutting board, and then my tray with the canister and the vase from Target. And the plant is actually from Ikea that I got a long time ago. But I thought it looks kind of herbal and would be really appropriate for the kitchen. And we'll wrap up in a second. Okay, well there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed all the fresh ideas for decorating your countertops for spring. And if you like this video, I would love it if you give me a thumbs up down below and hit the subscribe if you'd like more. I also have a full blog post that I will link to with all my product sources and actually more ideas for decorating your home for spring.